Hi, Video Diary. Um, it's me, Caleb. Um, so lately I've been, you know, thinking about Columbo. I mean, I say lately, I mean, I'm always thinking about Columbo. Um, uh, easily, easily my favorite TV show, but also, I think, surprisingly, um, super influential to me as a, as a poet. Um, I think that, uh, you know, um, of course, Columbo is a unique TV show in that it's largely a how done it, right? I think there's like one episode, one or two episodes. There's a couple episodes with some like fakes and stuff like that, um, that are kind of like trying to, to, to surprise the audience or, you know, change the killer or reveal that the killer who we thought was the killer isn't really the killer halfway through. But the, for the most part, you know who the killer is within, you know, the first 15 minutes of the television show. And then Columbo, the detective, doesn't show up until 30 minutes into the television show, um, which creates a really unique um, dynamic, right, between the audience, Columbo, and the killer, right? Um, and in a way, it's it's a it's a uniquely meta relationship, right? Um, the audience knows who the killer is. Columbo almost always knows who the killer is from the very beginning, and now we're just watching to see Columbo put those pieces together. And the joy in that is what is 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 like watching somebody put together a really exciting puzzle. Right, um, which makes it different than most tele um, detective television shows, where you know the whole point is trying to find out who the killer is, right? Um, and here, you know, it's not without its mystery, right? There are um, distinct things, or sometimes the killer does things that we're like, okay, why, why did, why did they do that? Um, and so we can figure it out along with Columbo, right? Um, but a lot of the joy is in watching Columbo doggedly pursue the truth right um and that's ultimately what the show is about it's about the truth it's not really about vindication right it's about justice and the truth um and uh and i think one thing of course columbo doesn't carry a gun right um he um is mostly alone though there's a few uh um other officers or, de or detectives who help him um, lots of times he's hindered by the, the system in which he is operating, right? Where he is operating towards a kind of justice that the system is not necessarily supporting. Um, and then also um, a lot of times basically all of the people that Columbo goes after are rich white men, right? Or, or uh, a few rich white women, but people who are entitled, Right, that's the main thing. They think that they are better than everyone. They think that they are better than Columbo. They think that they are better than the audience, right? And that has got across for every single killer, right? Um, for one reason or another, right? They think that they are better than the audience, um, and of course, better than Columbo. Um, so he takes down the police commissioner, right? He takes down. Um, and, and in that episode, the police commissioner tries to, you know, to, 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 to frame another, you know, another, you know, uh, poor criminal, right? Um, and Columbo, you know, um, exonerates him. Um, he takes down senators. He takes down uh, people who would be, um, you know, cabinet members. Um, he takes down um, millionaires and and rich architects and uh, self-important people, right? That's one of the main, um, the main uh, uh, um, parts of the people that he takes down is that they're self-important, right? Um, and I think that Columbo represents um, not policing as it is or necessary policing, necessarily policing as it should be, but in reality, Columbo is a, a policeman out of time and out of place um, who is taking down um, emblems of white, um, for the most part, uh, uh, um, chauvinistic superiority, right? Um, and uh, he's doing this over and over and over again in a way that is um, 
constantly pursuing this kind of truth in spite of the barriers put in front of him. And of course, all that's great. Um, and then there are so many other things you could talk about in relation to, to perhaps politics in Colombo, um, you know, um, and, um, and how it transcends the, the genre of police detective uh, type thing and how Peter Falk's um, presence at his Columbo is, is um, so incredible and what he brings to the role specifically and how he envisioned Columbo and how that made the show um, what it was. Um, but the main thing that I love about Columbo is that he pursues right he pursues and he digs and he pursues and he digs i mean his most famous thing that he has is one more question right one more question right and that's what um that's my idea of poetry right that's what i love about poetry that's what i love about good poems is that they pursue they dig they push they move right into something new into a new understanding into a new revelation right and a lot of times it's painful and hard and difficult and thankless right but but this poetry does something that moves it into a a, a new place um to to find out something about the world that perhaps um we didn't see before or to see something in the world um in a new way um, and a lot of times for me that comes through experimental poetry um, so I'm going to read a, uh, a poem by um, by uh, Paul Ceylon uh, who is a, a German Jewish poet who um, survived the Holocaust um, unfortunately his parents did not um, and uh he ended up committing suicide in 1970, um, but before that, 19, yeah, 1970. Um, but before that, he was really good friends with Nellie Sachs, um, another German Jewish poet um, who also survived the Holocaust and won the Nobel Prize, um, and uh, was a, a very experimental uh, writer writing in German, um, which which. Um, you know, he, he was trying to destroy the language in a way, um, which is understandable, but right, also he was doing it to kind of find something new in the language, right? And find something revelatory and find something about himself in the world um, through this language. And I think that comes across in, in Michael Hamburger's uh, really great um, Paul Salon translation. And Michael Hamburger is a great translator also of German works. So if you're interested in that, um, I would say look him up and, and try to find some of his work, um, his translation work. Um, so this, um, the title of this poem is Landschaft or Landscape. Right? Um, and uh, so I'm going to kind of read this poem and then we're not really going to go over it. I think I just want to sit with it for a second. Um, landscape with urn creatures, conversations, from smoke mouth to smoke mouth, they eat those madhouse truffles, a chunk of unburied poetry, found a tongue and a tooth, a tear rolls back into its eye, the left hand orphaned half of the pilgrim's shell, they gave it to you, then they fettered you, listening floodlights the scene the clinker game against death can begin um and i think for me the reason why this is perhaps an example and paul salon is a great example of what i enjoy about poetry and what i take from 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 colombo is that this poem encouraged us to um ask question after question after question um, from the very first line, from the very first image. Um, what does it mean to have a landscape with urn creatures, right? And then from there, the questions just keep on coming. And I think, uh, you know, one more question, right? One more question. I think for me, that's what I value in, in poetry um, over almost anything else, right? Um, and what I hope comes across in my own poetry, um, in my own work. 
um, because I think that like a Paul like that Paul Salon poem um, for me the joy is in not necessarily finding the answer right because there is joy in finding answers right but the joy is coming back to it each time with a new question or a new feeling or a new approach right um, just like Columbo does to his you know to his perpetrators um, and I guess in this analogy, right, the poems are the perpetrators, which uh, is interesting, right, is interesting. Um, perhaps it works, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, that's how Columbo has been a, 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 an inspiration to me as a poet and a reader. Um, keep real. <laughs>